Wow, look at that. Another gorgeous stay on the homestead. And welcome for those of you who are just visiting for the first time. We are here in Pinal County Zone 9A, B, right smack dab in the middle. And we're gonna have a gorgeous day today. And these are the ladies and Mr. Coco Puff. Morning, morning. How are you? What? Yes, yes, yes. I know. A little late this morning. Had some more coffee. Got to chatting with the hubby. You know how that goes. Hey, Mr. Coco Puff. What are you doing up there, dude? Yes, you do look fantastic for the ladies. You are working it. Yes. Hey, Pink, what's up? How you doing? Yes, Flip, nice to see you up there as well. Yes, okay, I see what the deal is. They're like, Lula, I know what you're saying. You're saying, get some food up in here. Hello. Yes, Mr. Cocoa Puff. You gonna crow for us this morning? Come on, dude, you're thinking about it. Not yet, not right now? Not right now? Okay, I feel you. It has to be the right moment. This is not a crowing moment. I understand that completely. I, oh, somebody's having some issues over here. Calm down, everybody. It's gonna be fine. You are getting food today, so just like you do every day. Got a bag here that's still got some in. Let's take that in. We're getting attacked, clearly, because if I don't throw any in forehand, it's gonna be a rough go in. Let's give it a try. Let's see what we can do. I got the bag. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves, okay? It's all about timing, people. It's all about timing. And let's go in. And we're coming in, and we're coming in. Oh, we made it. And no one got out. Woo! It was tough. All right, ladies. All right, let's be ladies. All right, not get, oh my goodness gracious, oh love. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Oh, wow. okay, okay, just, just give me a second. Let me put you up here in a safe zone because they are getting cray cray down there. Yes, I'm getting it. Oh my goodness, Princess. People, these birds are fed daily, okay? Don't let them fool you. Really? Really? I almost stepped on this. Can you take a look at this right here? Come on now, ladies. Come on. What's happening? Was a box busy there's three boxes you're gonna lay an egg out in the open like that we got a couple over there as well I'll get those before I go but seriously ladies all out in the open oh now they're gonna get it out of the bag oh my goodness I'm gonna fit thank you I'm, I'm taking it over here you want to come with me come with come with with here we go here we go yes yes skip oh my goodness ladies ladies just give me a second. I can't see how much I'm pouring. Okay, part of your plan? I see. Okay, enjoy that. Yes, do that. What? Yes, it's the same grain. You say it feels different under your feet. Well, I don't know. I don't step in my food, but you do you. Ladies, you're all set for the day. Food, water, fantastic. Yes, <laughs> wonderful weather, I agree. Let's take these strings out of here so no one gets caught up in these strings on this bale. Oh, oh, didn't mean to startle you. Ooh, lots of bugs. You better come get it, ladies. They love this. It's bug of Palooza. You better get in there. Oh yeah, this will be, be some scratching fun today right here. 
I just want to get the strings out because one time Coco Puff got one of these caught around his neck. That's not a good thing. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, some bugs in there, some good stuff. Let me see. Well, what you getting? What you getting? What you getting, girl? Uh, mm hmm. Yes. That all looks fantastically delicious. You're right. She's like, forget about that grain. Let's get some natural foraging going on. Let's do it. Okay, y'all do that. Let me get these strings out of here. And this wire thing from somewhere. You all are going to be busy today. Have fun with that. Yum, yum, yum. I'm sure there's lots of stuff in there. All kinds of bugs. Fantastic. Enjoy. Mr. Coco Puff, you look fantastic. I'll see you later as well. Coming in. Excuse me, Zeusy. How's it going, buddy? Good? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, made it back just in time. You're almost full. Almost, almost. Look at these nine-week-old Cornish cross chicks. Let me tell you, these bad boys are huge. Huge, I say. Excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. Did you get the cap off? Thanks. Whoops. Oops. Look out. Look out. Stopped it. Agree, Mr. Cocoa Puff, completely. Zero. Hopefully you can see that. Zero the scale out. Let's get one of these big boys. Let's <laughs> see. Oh, well, this gentleman is just sitting here waiting to be weighed. That's not what you're saying? I'm getting the I want to be weighed vibe. That's what we're going with. So you just come hither, calm down, it's fine. It's all good. Oh, you're heavy, oh my gosh. I didn't know I'd get you on this scale. Okay, hold on, hold on, just try, just calm down, sir, 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 sir. Definitely need a hanging scale, cause, okay, uh, let me see if I can get him to calm down. Enough to just let go just for a second. Wait, wait, sir. 
Okay, I'm barely touching him. I'm already getting nine pounds, 10 ounces. I wish I could turn it. Maybe I can just let him relax. Relax. Okay, he's off. I don't know if you saw it or not. <laughs> let's try it again. Nine pounds, 10 ounces. Okay, let's see if we can get someone else who's a little calmer. Oh, you look kind of husky. Come down, come down. No, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. It's all good, it's all good. Shh, shh. Shh. Relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax. No, 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 no. no. Just, just, just. Okay, got that one. Woo! But let me tell you, that bad boy was heavy. That, that, maybe we just have to go with what we got. Nine pounds, 10 ounces, people. Woo, and that wasn't one of the bigger ones either. That was a big one, but not the biggest one, I should say. It was in the group of the top 10 big ones. How about that? Anybody else wanna come over and participate? Sir? Oh my goodness, you're as big as a turkey. Oh my gosh. This dude actually might just sit here. Sheesh, hold on. I'm trying to read. I'm getting 12 pounds, people. 12 pounds. Oh, I don't know if I can get you in there. His butt's in the way. It's kind of gross. Sorry, people. Here, let me see. It's 12 pounds, 8 ounces. Oh, my gosh. That was huge. That was that bird right there. 12 pounds, people. Wow. Thank you, sir. That was incredible. One thing about any garden, whether it's an aquaponic garden or a garden in the soil, when you get the combination right, it really starts to take off. And that's what's happening now. Our water has gotten to the point where the fish poo mixing and the plant cleaning is at optimum or really close to optimum because the plants are just growing tremendously well, as you can see. This is the collards and I'll compare those to the collards in the garden planted at the same time. The romaine lettuce, it's the romaine lettuce. Once again, planted at the same time as the other romaine lettuce in the ground. But something that's not in the ground is lemongrass and it has literally just taken off. This shoot is just incredible. That's lemongrass that we have just stuck in our aquaponic garden, our aquaponic grow bed. And this, of course, Right now, my pride and joy, garlic. Yes, let's come around this other side here so you get a better shot of that. That is a beautiful garlic shoot there. And I have planted some up in the dirt garden on Spice Hill that have barely started coming out of the ground. This right here, this really tall one in the back here, Swiss chard, and then we have some collards. And the collards and red cabbage, red cabbage, and red cabbage are just taking off. So today, complete aquaponic update. You're probably noticing that we've got something new. Yes, we worked yesterday and hubby had a day off and we worked together and got a lot accomplished. I didn't bring you along because it was spur of the moment. He was like, let's get it done. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So we just went ahead and started. Sorry we didn't bring you along, but the bottom line is, this right here, as we've talked about before, is our swirl filter. This is gonna be our next aquaponic uh, fish tank right here, okay? So this, as you can see right here, 250 gallons, this line right here. This line right here, 900 liters, okay? So we're probably at a little less than, well, we might be at, by about the 250 line, a little bit less in our tank. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things in the tank. You're probably wondering, what the heck is that? As water is added to the fish tank and rises, it will cause the water to come out of here into the swirl filter, but not just any water. It's taking the water from the bottom. It's gonna take the water from the bottom of the tank, the dirty water, pull it up here and bring it over into our swirl filter. This is our swirl filter. Right now, as you can see, we did some cutting yesterday and there's some stuff in there. We'll get that out. Not too concerned about that. That's what the purpose of this is. It's a swirl filter. The water is gonna come down this line and it's gonna go in here and it's, this is gonna start a swirl motion as you can see. As I take you down there further, you can see that it has 45 degree PVC pieces going in opposite directions. So when the water comes down, it's gonna start a swirling motion. 
but not extremely close to the bottom. So the, the heavy residuals will actually fall to the bottom while the cleaner water will be at the top. Okay, except for those, obviously those little plastic particles which we'll need to get out. Close to the top, still a ways. No, it's there. It's there? I grabbed the dog's toy. Woo! Just barely made it. So, right now, we're once it gets to a good lower level, we'll get some of the stuff skimmed off the top naturally through that pipe and onto the ground and then I'll actually let it flow into the grow bed. We're getting so close to being completely online with this setup, I'm super excited. We're trying something different this time. Normally that pipe would have a 90 on it and uh, in most systems that we've seen, but we wanna see how this works if it's just the open pipe. Is it just as effective? Okay, the official height of the lemongrass. 14 and three quarters of an inch. The official height of the garlic. Let's get in there, garlic, let's see. We'll say six inch, oh, okay, five and three quarters. Actually five and seven eighths, five and seven eighths. Awesome. <laughs> That's my official voice, awesome. Okay, now we gotta go check one out on Spice Hill. Hold on. Let's stop and take a look at the curly parsley. It is doing fantastic in this pot under the tree. So it said partial shade. So under the tree and I've been watering it with aquaponic water. Love it. Okay, here we are at the rosemary. I have planted garlic all around the edge here. You see there's one here, there's one here here. Ooh, one coming up, just sprouting up right there. And one over there. Okay. There should be, oh yeah, one just coming up there. Cause I was going to say I kind of planted them at intervals and there's another one coming up right there. Okay. So let's see. These two aren't even, we'll just go with the tallest one. We'll take the tallest one here and it looks like it's, let's see. Let's take a look. This one, let's get in there close. What are we looking at? Two and an eighth. Give them two and an eighth. Okay. Two and an eighth. This one. I don't even know. Oh, oh snap. Oh, well, I kind of went in the dirt a little bit. Let's see. But still, let's go with that one. Let's, let's give the benefit of the doubt. That one's three and kind of touching the three and three eighths. Yeah, that's what we're going to say. Three and three eighths. Tallest there. Um, we're not even going to measure any of these because none of them are as tall as next door. I have changed the water lines, you notice. I've moved the water lines here and not directly in the hole because the water needs to also go around the edge of the hole. So 
That's why I moved the water lines. Over here is my garlic marker. Yes, yeah, sometimes just grab a rock and just use a marker, okay? It's super easy. All right, so garlic. So let's see, do we have any? Oh, okay, here's, here's two here. There's one here and there's one here. My concern is right now I, I moved some lines around and these two are really dry. So we need to change some things up. They need a line here. So there's two there, but I can guarantee you they're not as tall. They're nowhere near, so we don't need to use those. We're still at the three and three eighths. Okay, uh, no other ones have sprouted here. So looking at these two right here, looks like they're getting water, but there's some serious, uh, where's that water coming from? It must be spraying out of a hole here on one of these lines. But uh, okay, this, Oh, that's just an extra hole there. Okay, there's an extra hole over here. This is what I'm looking at here. I just laid my glove there. This one must have an extra hole on the other side because it's also spraying downward and making a hole in the ground and an extra hole here. So I might run these two additional holes over here somewhere because this garlic right here completely, it has started to root though. I don't want to pull it out because if you notice, it's starting to form some roots down there. So we're just going to um, get it covered back up. There's one right there. So we need to get this guy covered back up and figure out what's going on with the water in this area. Maybe stand it up a little bit more like that. So it's more of a, gonna be an upward growth. There we go. That'll help you out, buddy. All right, a little bit. There you go. All right, you're perfect now. You're lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, and then almost uncovered that one. Okay, wow, what was I thinking? Obviously not looking what I was doing. Okay, so there's one here. There's one here. This one as well. But look, it's already starting to sprout up from right there because it was it's just been turned at an angle. So it's like, well, I'm still going to go straight up. So let's let's do something with that one here. Let's kind of build up around like that. Namaste, my friend. Okay. All right, we've got the rod installed to keep this from floating up too high, right here, so that can't float up. And right now, uh, we've taken the hose out of the main tank, so obviously there's no water flowing in there. It still hasn't quite reached its equilibrium yet because we're still getting a little bit dripping out of the end. That's why I've turned that, that direction so you can see that. Just a little come out of the end there. The water will be pumped from the sump into the fish tank, okay? From the fish tank, it will go into the swirl filter where the large debris will be taken off and the cleaner water will then be drawn off into said grow bed right here. So this line right here won't be flowing any longer. It'll still, we can still have it there. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but you won't be flowing in from there. It'll be coming from the swirl filter out into the grow bed. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed today's aquaponic update and, of course, our daily chores with the girls and Mr. Cocoa Puff. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We appreciate the support of those of you who have subscribed, and we're looking forward to reaching our next goal of 500 subscribers, hopefully very soon. Thank you again to all of you, and as always, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.